Now let's talk about salaries, types of contracts, and additional benefits and perks for entry-level yacht crew members. There are various different types of job agreements and contracts that are options in the yachting industry. A few examples include, you could be a day worker, you could do temporary or part-time, full-time, rotational, seasonal or freelance, or you could work deliveries. As an entry-level crew member, you will probably only be offered one of the first three types of work, which are day work, temporary, or full-time. Working as a day worker is common when you've just finished your SDCW and you're looking for experience or maybe if you're in between jobs. You typically find an hourly based job on a boat that only needs assistance for a day or maybe even a week or two, but it is not a full-time position and you likely will not expect to live on board while doing it. Now, as a temporary or part-time worker, this may be for a longer period than a day working job, like a week to a month or so. You may or may not stay on board while doing this. It all just depends. Oftentimes, these jobs can turn into a more permanent position if you do a good job and they have an opening. As a full-time worker, this is a commitment in which you will likely be living on board or in the crew house and expect to work on the boat regularly for at least a season. There will probably be some type of contract and you will agree on a salary and other things like vacation time, etc. As an entry-level yacht crew member, this is what you can expect your salary or pay to be when you're just starting out. As a day worker, this usually pays by the hour. Oftentimes, it's cash and tax-free, but not always. Expect between $12 to $15 an hour or $120 to $50 a day. Try to get as much day work experience as you can while job hunting. As a part-time or temporary worker, this usually pays by the day, week, or month, depending on the amount of time agreed upon. It can range from $100 to $200 per day, or $700 to $1,400 per week, or up to $3,000 per month, although entry level will likely be at a lower end of these estimates. And these are definitely just estimates. Do not take this as an exact amount. Finally, the full-time salary is usually ranging from $1,500 to $2,500, maybe up to $3,000 US dollars per month. As an entry-level employee, you aren't going to start off with the best pay, but if you do a good job, there's a chance you will continue to earn more if you stick with the same boat. Also, don't forget you have little to no living expenses when you're living on board, so you can factor that in as well.